Dr. David Carbone is a lung cancer clinician, researcher, and specialist at The Ohio State University Comprehensive Cancer Center. He has been working on developing treatments for lung cancer for years and played an important role in discovering the first targeted therapy aimed at the EGFR biomarker. And today on the Hope With Answers Living With Lung Cancer podcast, we have really an amazing opportunity to learn more about the EGFR biomarker from Dr. Carbone. And let me tell you, this is information that everyone whose life is affected by EGFR should know. Dr. Carbone, we are talking about the EGFR biomarker today. And at a really, really basic level to get started, can you explain what a biomarker is? So you, you can under, understand that there might be a, a variety of uh, definitions of a biomarker. But fundamentally, I think a biomarker is some feature of a tumor or a patient that you can measure that helps guide what you do or how you treat that patient. And EGFR is a great example of a biomarker that's of tremendous utility. So we're gonna get into some of that today. Um, again, at a you know fairly um, approachable level, does EGFR lung cancer affect some populations differently than others? <clears throat> Well, it's certainly more frequent in some populations than others. So in Asia and some Asian countries, the frequency of this uh, biomarker is in the 50 or 60% range. Whereas in, in uh, Spain, it's two or three or 5%. So it definitely varies uh, from one population to another. But the Bottom line is that if, if you have an EGFR mutation and you're African American, you uh, the implications for your treatment are really the same. Uh, if you're Japanese, uh, it just uh, the frequency of finding that alteration is different. Mm, that's really interesting. So one of the things that LCFA works on, one of the LCFA's goals, is making sure that everyone has access to comprehensive biomarker testing. Can you give us an idea of what comprehensive biomarker testing gives you as a doctor and the patient when it comes to someone with EGFR who's gotten that information back that they have EGFR lung cancer? Yeah, so again, comp the definition of comprehensive can vary um, from uh, one situation to another, but Right now, there's um, maybe 10 or 12 different things that you can measure about a tumor that dramatically affect the type of uh, treatment you, uh, you choose for that patient. And historically, people have said, well, you know, these two are more frequent than the others, so we'll only measure these two. And if they're negative, then we'll measure another one. But really, the it's very clear to me that for optimal patient care and, and um, getting the right treatment to the right patient in a, in a, as rapidly as possible, it's very important to measure for an entire panel of these markers all at the same time and before any treatment decision is made. Because as I said, it radically changes the best treatment options for that patient. Uh, if you find one of these markers. 